Hello YouTube. I uh, hope everyone had a good Christmas. Um, as you can see from these two bags here, yeah, I had a very good Christmas. I was really spoiled by uh, my girlfriend and uh, by my family. And uh, we're just doing a little Christmas haul video. So we start with this bag here. So this is all the stuff basically I got for Christmas. So we'll start at the top here. We've got these very nice 009 gauge. To find the label for them. Two ton slate wagons. So one one's braked, the other two are unbraked on that one. All three of those are unbraked. So they go very nice on my uh, 009 layout. And the next things were these very nice little freelance 009 coaches again from Pico. So I've got four of them, I've got three off me uh my girlfriend uh three off my brother sorry and I got uh, one off my girlfriend and she got me those wagons as well. So I've been very lucky there, I've got a complete train or two complete trains. I've already got the reds versions of these coaches if you see my previous video we haul from patterns so now i've got presetted so i've got a nice tramway loco that i'll keep all those coaches the same sort of color we've also got one of the older hornby mark three coaches got that off my dad because uh I've got all the, uh, the old HSTs now, but I haven't got a buffet car for the intercity livery, so that will come in handy. Put that there. And this one here. Oops. It's a Bachman Web Coal Tank, which I saw at the Keithley Way Valley Valley when I visited in the spring, and I thought I really like that engine. And uh, it was uh, in Hattons and uh, when my dad got it for me for Christmas. So it's a very nice, stunning model. And it runs really, really smoothly as well. That's one side. Come back here. This is another one off my uh, girlfriend. Like I said, I got really spoiled this year. I wasn't expecting this. It's a Colas Rail Class 37. Backman again, and that runs absolutely smooth, really quiet engine, very nicely detailed. And I really like delivery. This one here, I actually bought before Christmas because I saw it on eBay and thought, oh, I'll make an offer on it because I couldn't resist. It's a <coughs> Princess Coronation class, City of Bradford. And I bought it because I had a smoker unit. It also had Olivia's sound fitted and it's got front lamps and a rear lamp. It's got a light in the cab as well as uh, a fire flicker. So it's a very nice model. It wasn't very it wasn't cheap, but a very, very nice detailed model. And I'll uh, do another video on that. Right there. So another one of these, I've got one each, one off my girlfriend and one off my dad, is uh, these Oxford Rail Ball Well Wagons. And I've got a load of Airfix kits and um, I thought that would be a nice thing to put on the layout. Put a couple of my Airfix tanks or road vehicles on the wagons from the Heritage Line as a, maybe a bit of a, a military day or something like that. So they're very nice. And the last thing up there for Christmas was uh, this wagon, Batman, came with this again, another present off the uh, other half. And uh, she got me a uh, Batman Club membership. So I got the wagon, and it comes with this uh, very nice magazine. All different articles in it 
I also got a badge and you also got a, uh, a calendar. And uh, you get a little mini catalogue with Backman collector's models that you can only get from Backman itself from the club. So that was very nice. So yeah. Had a really really good collection of uh, locomotives and stuff there. Now with uh my Christmas money we went to uh, a toy fair yesterday in um Payback Park Race course. I picked up a few things and we also done a little trip to Hatton's afterwards, which wasn't far away. And at the exhibition, I came across this. And at first I thought, is it an older model, class 47? Because I saw the uh, the price on it was £59. And I thought, hmm, was that an older model or it sounds too cheap to be the newer model? And uh, it turns out, it's the model that was released from Hatton's before Christmas. Totnes Castle. And there, uh, oops. As you can see, that's the uh, the problem with it. So, I thought it's too good to be true, but I thought for £59, I'd take a gamble. And um, so it was obviously missing the box and um, the details. You know, it comes with the, uh, with the names there. So... And on one end has been part detail, but it's missing the uh, couple of that side. And uh, but for fifty nine pounds, it's worth a gamble. And can't, it's worth taking a risk. The body work is absolutely perfect. No damages or scratches anywhere. So I thought we'll try it. But inevitably, as soon as we took it out the bag, the uh, well, this piece fell off. And then it clipped it back on, and it seems to work on the layout. It worked really smoothly, to be honest. The problem is, it made like a, a strange sort of irritating crunchy noise. So I don't know whether anyone would know about that, whether it's just purely this piece here that's causing the problem, or something snapped, or whether it's easy replaceable. So if anyone wants to leave a comment on what they think it might be, or, you know, um, I haven't really had time to look into it myself yet. And uh, previously when I've tried taking these back and models apart, it was very hard to get them back together again. So I'm a bit reluctant to play with it just yet. I will see what happens. But anyway, you know, I'm sure I can get it working. And, like for £59, you know, the cheapest I saw that locomotive was uh, 100 and, I mean, it was £124 DC ready. So if I can get it back to work, full work in order without the noise, then I'll be very happy with it. Right, uh, taking some things out of the box. I got uh, that was uh, eight pound, a sixteen ton steel mineral wagon weathered. I've already got about half a dozen of these, so for three pounds, I might as well get another one. So that was uh, pretty good. I also uh, picked up six of these. So it's a Backman OTA timber carry wagon EWS with lumber load. So I thought they look like very very nice little uh, wagons, and something a bit different uh, to what I've already got. So. I had six of them on the store and he done me a bit of a bit of a deal for the six. I think it worked out about £20 each, so I think you'd pay more more for them that, but they're like brand new condition. Look like a very nice wagon. So you've got the uh, the pieces there to uh, put put against the uh, the logs. So they were very nice. So I've actually got six of them. So I'll get a running session done with them. There we go. And 
like I said, uh, after the uh, the toy fair, we done a trip to Hatton's, and um, this was on the pre owned website. And I've been after a few of these for a while, but hardly ever come across them. Is uh, FNA nuclear flask wagon sloping floor. So uh, it was on the pre owned section, so I reserved it and collected it. That was a very nice uh, wagon. I also picked up this for the Colas 37, so I can fit it with sound. And then, um, as I've seen on different videos on uh, YouTube of people fitting these TTS decoders in class 37s, they seem to always the speaker always seems to be too big, and they have to start taking the uh, the fan fans out of the logo to fit the decoder. So I had a little look on eBay and uh, I purchased this Roads and Rails and it's a small speaker, slim. So hopefully, I'm hoping it'll fit underneath there rather than to remove any parts of the body. So I'll probably do a video on that when I get a chance. And uh, also, I picked up this very, very nice Hatton's P Class. 060. So, now this is actually a little stunning little engine. It's that one there. So, I'll do it again. I'll do a running video on that. So, it's not really in the theme of the, the heritage railway I've got, which is mainly like British Rail era sort of stock. But, I think you had like a vintage steam day or something like that, it'd be perfect. I thought it's got it's that well detailed and it's lovely, such a lovely livery, it couldn't resist. So I picked that up. I also got a uh, DCC decoder to fit into it. And um, I also got this um, 21 pin to 8 pin uh, adapter. Again, to go with the TTS decoder because this loco is 21 pin DCC. And uh, got a uh, side mounted point motor. And I also got this, these, sorry, for my village scene at the uh, back of the heritage line on the top part of the layout because the cardboard ones are done. They, they looked okay, but very fiddly to do because I'm stretching over the board to try and fit them. So I thought these might be a, a much easier solution. And um, I might like weather them up a bit, put a bit of black or brown weathering powder on them. Uh, but yeah, I thought because it's the back of the layout and I'm going to be lighting up all the buildings, uh, I want to try and get it, make it easy so it's it's easy to fit. So basically, I thought I'd give these a try um, instead of the cardboard, and I hopefully be able to get the back village part of the scene done so I can. Start working on the front part of the layout. So yeah, I mean that's uh, that's everything now. I think out of uh, my collection of stuff. So like I said, I've been absolutely spoiled, and uh, it's definitely been one of the best Christmases I've had. And uh, like I said, I can't thank everyone enough. So uh, I'll. Uh, Leave this video now and uh, I'll hopefully do upload a, a running session uh, for New Year's Eve, um, if not before. I'll see uh, how much time I have. Thanks for watching. Take care. All the best.